Hi there. I know this isn't the best camera, but I am do or die kind of person. I originally wanted to do this live video on my other channel, which is for RL Fine Linens. And fortunately, it says I can't do live today. And I do not have a thousand subscribers, which I wish I did, because if I did, I could do live on my phone and do it anywhere. But you know what? Business people have to adapt to whatever it is they have. And this is what I have. So um, I hope that I can answer some of your questions and we'll see what we can do with this chat. I'd like to put a little bit of music if I can, just to um, add a little bit of mood because I'm very big on mood. And um, so, Basically, I am going to talk about comforters and answer all of your questions, whatever it is you need to know. And uh, right now, I'm just trying to select some mood music. So it'd be in the background. So I think people do like that. They tend to, uh, everything has music accompanying it. And um, what I was going to say, and this is what kills me with the internet, I just spent like an hour entering the best copy and description for this um live and for some reason it got eliminated and now i have to start over again well what i wanted to tell you is that down comforters require a little bit of information to make a um informed decision with your purchase because what i see especially now with the internet there's a lot of quality levels and if you're in retail the other thing is there isn't a lot of assistance. And that was something that we provided with our business. We were like, our business was like a couture dress shop that when you walked in our store, we were there for you, right? And whatever you needed, we provided it for you. And we had an environment of cordiality and we were very happy to inform people. We're not big on the hard sell. I believe in um, selling quality products that give good value for their price. And that is something that's important, um, especially in a comforter, because a comforter is something that is not cheap if you want a good quality. Okay, hold on a second. I got to do this for one second. I find it very hard to um, multitask too much. I just want to see my live stream. I don't really expect anybody to join us here because um, this is too, okay. So, you know, I'm blurry. I hope the sound quality is decent. Um, I still have not put the music on. Okay, so let's just head on over here for a second. Let's just close that. I'm going to go to home and the library and my history um, and uh, let's just find something nice here um, oh dear I'm just wasting time. Well, I'm sure nobody's on here right away anyway, so it really won't matter. Um, maybe I'll just, dear me. Here, go library. And these are all my playlists, okay. Still not finding it. Sorry about that. Um, Jesus Christ, why can't I find anything? Okay, let me go here to this file. And have a YouTube file. Okay, so YouTube. 
Well, I live in Chicago. One of the things that is prompting me to do this is, for one, I am relaunching my business, which was a luxury linen shop. And I'm starting out by um, by doing comforters. That's what I'm going to start with. Okay, so let's just see something. Uh, Hmm. Oh, there I am. I'm live now, but why am I? This is a horrible picture of me. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. That's terrible. 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 Oh, <laughs> I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, uh, okay, so, this is too bizarre. I'm going to turn that down a bit, though. Here, hold on. Do you like the happy music? Okay, I like the happy music so that you just hear it a little bit. Uh, I hope people come on here. I want to make a note on LinkedIn now and just tell them going live on YouTube. Let me see if I can get this. I'll say.
Hi there, back again. I'm sorry to leave you for just a minute. Uh, there's nobody here, though. It doesn't really matter. I could probably re-edit this and eliminate the first 14 minutes because nothing's actually happened. But never mind. Oh, God. I'm getting practice. for becoming proficient in doing live. And this is the beginning of my new career as Linen Maven, which I already am a lin Linen Maven because my name is Lisa Linen Lady. I'm drinking my Motrin right now because I'm an old lady. Here's the thing. I'm old, but I'm also very wise. And I'm very knowledgeable about betting and goose down because it's something I did for a very long time. Uh, this music is really too happy for me. I, I want like some of the depressing music. How about, let's see, comfort. Comfort music. Uh, let's try that. Okay, this is called Calm Music. So let's see how calm it is. I don't even hear it. It's very calm. This is actually pretty good music. In fact, I just uh, saved it. And uh, I'm going to make it a little bit lower. Now, I don't need that much sound of it. Just a ambiance. Okay. It's like ambiance is a bit like makeup. If you can tell that there's makeup on someone, it's not as good as having makeup on and having people think it's natural. So music provides a little bit of a cover for all the flaws, and it also helps hold people's attention. It's just a reality because these things are studied in the marketing arena. And, you know, they look at statistics. When do people listen more? They'll do a video with music, without music, and they'll say, this one with the music, people like it more. It's just that simple. It's unfortunate that uh, I don't have any audience to speak of, but that's okay. I'm going to try and build an audience. Right now, I have only about nine members on this group, but I've done nothing to promote it. And so um, my mission as I started this was to take a look at SEO and what were the most pressing questions that people have. And um, that's what this is. And so it's all about like the most frequently, the, the questions that are most frequently typed in to Google, Google search about comforters. So for example, are, comf are down comforters hot? Are down comforters cruel? Are down comforters good? Are down comforters washable? Are down comf comforters worth it? Are down comforters heavy? Are down comforters breathable? Are down comforters bad for asthma? Can down comforters be washed? Can down comforters be machine washed? Can down comforters go into the dryer? Okay, so I can tell you all kinds of stuff like that. What are the best down comforters? Best down comforters on sale? Um, what are the best down comforters to buy? Well, I'm going to tell you they're mine because I am a person that believes in providing great value. Now, the things I carry, they're not cheap. They are a high quality product that will give you many, many years of use. Um, cheap is good for certain things. It just depends on what your needs are. Like if you were 
for example, doing staging a house for sale. You know, you don't need to have a super expensive comforter. The whole idea of a comforter is what it provides to you. If it's just sitting on the bed being beautiful, nobody's under it, people can't really tell. Now, of course, if you get something that's very opulent, like the comforters that we carried at our show, and uh, I don't know if I can show you that at all. Uh, I guess I need certain features to do that, but um, then you would see that they're very voluptuous and full and puffy and, and fluffy, and that is part of what makes the comforters warm. That is how we started in this business. So um, let's answer some of the first questions that I have. Like one is, um, what is fill power? Because when you go to look for comforters, one of the first things that you will see is something called fill power. And people in the Un United States happen to like numbers. And they happen to be people that the bigger the number, the better. Well, it is true for fill power. The problem is that it is a measurement and a measurement has to be done in a very specific way. And if it's not done in a specific way, then it's not accurate. And so that number becomes meaningless. And the idea is that goose down comforters with a higher fill power, and when we talk about higher fill powers, we're talking in about the 850 fill power range. That is about the top tier of down quality. If people are saying it's more than that, they're liars because that's about the height of it. And I've worked with the best people in the in industry. You can always say any number, but if measurements are not conducted properly, you don't get an accurate number. And so then your label is basically a lie. And uh, I, now one thing that people, um, that is on the market is a lot of inexpensive Chinese comforters. And that was something that we actually veered away from. And then our business, which we had for 30 years, we never carried anything that wasn't goose down and wasn't out of Europe. We never worked with Chinese product. And the primary reason for that, aside from the possibility of human rights violations or environmental um, dangers that are introduced in the production, is that we really don't know the sources of the product and who is actually making the product. And in China, there are about a million people in labor camps making stuff that goes into the American market. And we just don't want to carry that kind of stuff. So we don't. And in Europe, there are more stringent standards. And one of the top quality goose down is a Hungarian goose down, which is what we carry in our wonderful exclusive comforters now we you can't find something that's a little better than hungarian and that would be a siberian goose style and that is the 850 fill power versus the hungarian which is about a 750 fill power the difference is this you're going to see a huge jump in price for the siberian goose down product because when you go into the upper tier of quality Every element of the product will be a higher quality, the fabric, the sewing, and of course, the down that is inside of the comforters. And those all influence the price. Then one needs to ask themselves, first of all, what can you afford and what is gonna give you the best value? And I think in a lot of ways, the Hungarian goose down provides excellent value because it is a very high quality. And it's what I had on my bed, and I just threw away my comforter after I had it for 30 years. 30 years. Three, oh, that is a long time to have a comforter. And what happened is, over time, the fabric just deteriorated. Um, fabric is not titanium. Down comforters are not titanium. Nothing lasts forever. Things get worn out from wear and tear and also from sunlight and laundering, if that's something that you've done. 
These are all factors that influence the longevity of a product. But the Hungarian goose down comforters that we carry can easily give you 20 years of enjoyment. And the wonderful thing about them is it doesn't require much. You don't even need an electric plug, and it provides you with wonderful natural warmth that can be enjoyed for years and years. It might even be something that you pass on to your kids, and you get another one for yourself, an even better one maybe. So um, the thing is that you have a lot of people that just do not want to spend the money on the Hungarian product. And the price of that, even with discounts, is going to be in about the 600 to um, $1,100 range versus Siberian Goose Down, where you're jumping up up to as much as a $1,600 um, price on the heaviest comforter with the best, the very, very best Goose Down. Also has a Lyocell cover on it, which is a very high quality um, sustainable fabric. So if you're looking for sustainable products, this is something for the kind of people that where price is no object. Now, I'm not going to say that a Hungarian goose down comforter is inexpensive because it is not inexpensive. However, I don't feel like I need to spend the extra money to get Siberian. And here's the other thing about the comforter. Most people use a duvet cover with their comforter. So couple questions I want to answer about that I have some terms that I brought up. One is duvet. And what a duvet is, is simply the French word for comforter. So when someone says duvet cover, what they mean is a comforter cover. And it is just like a pillow cover or a pillowcase, except it's for a comforter. And some people find it difficult to get the duvet and the comforter united, you know, get the comforter in. There's a way to do it easily, and I can show you that technique. That is beside the point. Uh, it is perfectly okay to use your comforter without a duvet cover, but then you have to be much more careful about getting spills on it, and there's dust. A duvet cover keeps the, your comforter protected from the dust. The other thing I want to mention is fill power and explain to you exactly how that measurement is made. Uh, here, I'll lower this music because I find it a little bit irritating. Okay, it's better. So what they do is they take a chamber, like let's just pretend this is a chamber, forget about the top of the bottle, and this is filled with down. And they take a stick and they stir it around and fluff it up. After they've done that, they allow, they compress it, with a weight and they see at what level, it's like a metal disc that goes on top of the down at what level. So it could be here, it could be here. Let me show you on the bottom. So that after they compress it, the down will go down a bit and it'll end up at this level. Or if it's a lower quality, they'll end up at this level. We're talking about the volume of the down. The volume of the down is the primary thing that determines the quality. For a single ounce of down, now keep in mind, we're talking about a single ounce, one ounce of down, a good quality is going to have this much volume, and a poor quality is going to have this much volume. There's also another difference, though, because you have to realize down product is harvested from geese or ducks. And in the better quality product, the animals are eventually used for food. And they are allowed to live a long life until they are mature enough to go to slaughter. And these animals are going to go to slaughter anyway. And all that down and feather is used to create com comforters. So every part of the goose is being used. If you were to just throw, if you're eating geese or ducks, they come with a lot of down and feathers, so you do something with it. Now, 
one of the things that is important to me is the fact that when we carry products that we have certain standards, morals, as far as the types of products we want to carry. We don't want to carry products that are creating environmental hazards. We don't want to have products that um, are cruel to animals. In China, they eat a lot of duck. And so most of the apparel that you find in products coming from places like Patagonia or was it West? I forgot. You know, these mountaineering, they're all Chinese product, most of them. And we don't really know where this Chinese product is coming from. Like, was it made in a labor camp? The other thing, too, is that these ducks are harvested over and over again for their down while they're alive. So they are live plucked. And it's cruel to the animal. And when they do that, you know, it's not pretty. So it's a matter of being humane. And that's very important to us. And yes, there's a ton of Chinese product out there. And I'm sure I buy some Chinese products and apparel and so forth. But as far as the products that I am carrying, I want to make sure that I verify and test everything that comes into my shop. And that I'm working with vendors that I trust. Now, you have to understand that we had this business for 30 years, and I know a lot of different people, a lot of different vendors. And I've always worked with the best. And I'm very confident with my vendor because when I've had product in development, independently tested it is tested out at a higher fill power than that which is stated that shows a very high standard when it comes to truth and labeling and that's an essential thing in business when you buy for example meat do you want choice or prime okay because there's a difference if you want prime you pay a premium for that if you want choice, yes, it's good, but it's not as good as premium. And I, our particular niche in our business was the higher end. And I really want to stick with that because that's really what I know. Because when things are good, I feel confident in offering them. Now, the other issue is price. And this was something that just killed us as a store Um and we closed in 2010. It was partly because of the internet. Number one, most of our customers weren't on the internet. They were. They would get our mailers. And we had a mailing list of about 14,000 people. So they would get our card and they would come in. And we were there for 30 years. So people knew us. The designers knew us. I had every... If, if a CEO or a VIP didn't come in themselves, they sent their designer, and those were our primary customers. Now, let me tell you a little secret about designers. They don't always want to tell you where they're getting their stuff. It's a secret. That's why people are paying them for their trade secrets. So a lot of times we didn't brag. We were in the background where the designer was the one that was showcasing our goods rather than our realm. But if you came into our store, it was like a library of beautiful fabrics. If you asked me for a sheet, I would say, what color do you want? And present 40 colors. Guess what, though? Most people wanted white and, and uh Ivory and sometimes taupe and gray. This is the reality of home decor. And uh, I like to do that sort of thing in person or I suppose with the Zoom call. I haven't really cultivated an audience of, with that. Uh, I was one of those people that worked with the designers and showing them all the latest things that we had gotten because I was our buyer too. So I was at the trade shows and I saw things that were coming right off of, you know, hot from the mills. Beautiful things. Now here's the thing with comforters and the types of comforters I carry. 
These are not comforters with designs. These are comforters that have a plain white ticking. All of my comforters have a plain white ticking. And then if you like color, if you want something else, you can either special order or you cover it with a duvet cover. And that was also something that we were famous for when nobody had even heard of a duvet cover. As I mentioned, a duvet cover is nothing more than a comforter cover. We had one of the biggest selections that you could find anywhere. And at the time, in 1988, which when we opened, I was primarily featuring um, Italian goods, high thread count Egyptian cotton, damas, and solids. And, uh, and then I also was carrying um, beautiful Swiss prints. And these were like large, colorful prints with like 23 different registrations in the printing, very, very unusual products. And they were really like works of art. And when we opened up, we called it RL Fine Linens, um, the fine art of fine linens, because that's how I looked at it. And I'm an artist. And so everything to me is an art, including linens, which are quite beautiful. Not only that, it's the mastery of the creation of the linens, which is something that has been passed down from generations and generations. And it's part of a textile culture that exists in Europe, which has been dying this last, really, you know, I would say the last 30, 40 years. And we were going great guns in the 80s. But um, the European markets had been suffering a lot, primarily by introductions from Asia. And over time, and especially when the economy tanked, people just wanted the cheapest price that they could find. And we found ourselves in a liquidation environment where all kinds of retail shops were liquidating. So there were a lot of good, a lot of cheap goods flooding the market, Chinese goods and liquidation goods. And it was very hard to compete against that because um, most people are not cognizant of what makes a product good or not. So it's a hit or miss situation. Sure, there are some good deals, but if you don't know how to buy, what to buy, your, your deals aren't that great, right? You could buy a fantastic comforter for $100 and a year later it's, it's flat, it's not good anymore. Okay, that isn't the sort of thing that we did. Um, we carried a very high quality product that was pristine, it was clean, it wasn't gonna give you allergens, it was produced ethically, it was produced in Europe, and the vendors I'm using now, I, I've known them for 30 years. So I know they're reliable, I know that they are true to what they say, they may not be the most, oh, what can I say, cooperative vendors, but I know that they have the best quality and that is not your problem. I worry about that, not you. My mission for you is to get and provide you with the best quality products. And if I can't do that, then I can provide you with the best information so that you can go shop wherever you want. But I have a very important announcement to make and that is that we are going to be launching our online shop for comforters. And although I will be carrying some duvet covers, I'm launching just with comforters and pillows, and I'm featuring my exclusive Hungarian Goose Down collection, which consists of about five different comforters. Of course, we have all our sizes, and our sizes are designed a little bit more voluptuous and generous than com other comforters so that they drape on the side of the bed and cover your mattress. And as far as um, design elements like duvet covers and colors and, and pattern and stuff like that, that is something that you will approach me individually in person. I will work with you just like if you were a customer walking into my store. But what I did want to do, because it's easier to explain. There's fewer options if all my comforters are all white. Here are the main differences between the different comforters that I have. The ones that I'm featuring first are all goose down. 
I will be having other introductions. I will be introducing vegan comforters. I have access to silk comforters, to wool comforters, to comforters made with um, recycled plastic bottles, comforters that are made with cornstalk. So I am venturing into new territory and I'm waiting for my sample board right now. I can't wait to get this sample board with all the new samples on it. The thing is that the company I work with, they happen to be very devout Jewish people and they are closed for the Jewish holidays for the next couple of weeks. So I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row because I've already been formed. There's going to be a price increase. I've already created my price list. So I'm going to have to bring it up, but I can still, with the current prices, offer you a really great discount of like 20 to 30%. I haven't quite figured out what that will be, but I'm telling you, whoever are my first customers, I'm going to give you a tremendous deal. And if you're interested in the vegan comforters, again, you're going to need to talk to me personally. I have no problem with that. I am all yours. I am at your disposal. Just like if you walked into my store, it will cost you nothing. But if you want instant gratification and just order something without any help, and I will have great descriptions in my website too, so that you can know what the difference between one comforter and the other is. Here are the main differences. There's the quality of the goose down, there's the quality of the fabric on the outside, and the, and the intricacy of the sewing, and then um, the third factor is the type of goose down that is in there. And in my first initial introduction, I am going to have Hungarian goose down, and I am going to have um, Siberian goose down. And so I'm really targeting the high end because these were the most popular comforters at our business. We were a fancy schmancy store and people wanted the very best. This is the very best. Now, rest assured, when you buy the very best in a comforter, you can expect 20 years of use. I can't really guarantee 20 years because if you are abusing your comfort, you know, it will die on you. But I guarantee 10 years on it. And I'll prorate it so if you have a problem, but you should not have a problem. Like I said, if you have a comfort that's 30 years old, like mine, then uh, this is, okay, what does it say? Remember to guard your privacy. Slow mo. okay. Um, so, so far, no people have been on here for 41 minutes. So this is a dry run. I'm hoping that maybe next time it could be, what happened here? I just lost. Okay. So I never told you what fill power is. Fill power means the units that go with fill power is cubic inches per ounce. Now, what that means is this. If you had one ounce of goose down, how much volume does that take up, right? Does it take up this much volume or this much volume or does it take up this much volume? Because the really good stuff takes up this much volume for the same one ounce as the inferior product, which may have this much volume. So basically, you have good, better, and best as far as down quality. So my very best is the Siberian goose down. Next best is Hungarian goose down, something that you don't even find in a lot of comforter shops. They're just going to have some junky Chinese product. And then... My third quality comforter, oh, like let me mention, Siberian goose down, Hungarian goose down, not duck down, goose down. Much better product. Why? Because this isn't only goose down, it's large cluster goose down 
coming off of mature geese. These geese lose their down after they are killed for food. So they are not suffering by being plucked. Unlike Chinese product, where they're plucking these geese, excuse me, ducks, over and over again before they go to the slaughterhouse. And they are plucking these poor birds like while they're alive. It's horrible. It's just not right. But here's the other thing, too. When you do that, you don't get the large cluster goose down. And that is exactly the same thing as, you know, like, I want to get some flowers here because I don't have actually goose down. I'm going to give you a demonstration using flowers. Now, let's say this is the very, very best down. See, it's got lots of different nooks and crannies. It has a large surface area. This down has a very medium surface area. The flowers are much bigger. Higher surface area means more insulation because the air is trapped in all the pockets of the filaments of the down. There's no place for things to get trapped here. None. And this is a stem. This isn't like this, where this can trap lots of air. Okay, but imagine it would be much more intricate. Like a cotton ball, right? Take a cotton ball, it's puffy. If you squish it and turn it into, you could turn it into a little tight ball though, if you just kept pressing on it. Okay, and then here's a leaf. This would be like a feather. So if you had a bunch of leaves, like they're heavy compared to a flower. And also leaves pile up on top of each other with no air pockets. And that is exactly the problem with an inferior quality down. But here's also another thing about quality. There can be very, very, very good quality and then there can be exceptional quality. What do you need for a product that's gonna give you the enjoyment and the beauty that you want? I would go with the Hungarian goose down because you save about five, six hundred dollars on a comforter purchase. But I will sell you the Siberian goose down. Now, here's the thing, and here's my big, big compromise. And I am doing this because I know there are lots of people that walk out of my store that had walked out of my store not getting a comforter because they felt like. I'll just get something else. I don't need something that's this expensive. I don't need this quality. Because outward appearances can be deceiving. You may have two comforters that look the same starting out, but over time, the inferior one will deflate. The fabric may be a loose weave and maybe even allow down to leak out. This is a really bad thing to do um, with the down comforter. Now what is the deal here? What is my music? Okay, here. Back to the music. Because I want you to be happy. Um, so my big surprise is I'm going to be introducing something that I'm calling the Allure European Fashion Comforter. And it is a duck down. And I normally don't endorse duck down, but this is the best quality that you can get in a duck down because it's very clean and it is not as voluminous as my better quality goose down, but it creates a comforter that's going to be in about the four to six hundred dollar range versus about double. 
And this might be something that's appropriate if you're staging a house, you have a kid going to college, you don't want to make that investment, it's the first comforter, you want to try it, um, or you just you, you just don't want to spend the money, but you want good quality, you want it to be clean, you want it to be ethically produced, etc., etc., all the things that are brought up here. And so that's my big surprise. And guess what? Nobody's been here this whole time I've been talking. So, you know, it's getting to be about dinner time, and I can continue this tomorrow. Maybe I'll be able to do a live on my YouTube channel, which is for RL Fine Linens. I hope you have a chance to discover us and the wonderful things that we provide and what we can create for your home. We have created some of the most beautiful bedrooms in the in the country and we are specialists in high thread count Egyptian cotton and also high quality sustainable fibers like lyocell like people know about bamboo but lyocell is a better fiber it is made from either eucalyptus or beechwood trees and it's much stronger and all the vendors I know that I worked with in the past that were all super luxurious manufacturers of linens, they do not do bamboo. They do lyocell. And I would think that there's a reason for it. Because I trust the people I work with. They're experts in their fields. And I am just conveying the information to you. I hope it's helpful. And I hope you... Um, Join me. You can find me at LinkedIn under Lisa Beth Rosenberg Terracina or Lisa Beth Terracina Rosenberg. You can find me on Facebook in several locations. Uh, you can find us at RL Fine Linens Group. And um, also I have a page, RL Fine Linens page. And um, I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye. Okay.